wanted to talk about art. Um, I have a section on my website at Fit and Fun called Artistic Aspirations, and that's all my art posts. I review other artists and I talk about my own steps to put my photography online, just the things I'm learning because I'm an accountant trying to turn into an artist, and um, I'm really questioning that this week, and that's why I'm making this video. I have been posting a lot of my photos all over the place because I found out I could do that on LinkedIn and on Facebook. There's places where you can join groups and they just let you put one photo at a time um, for comments. And um, I put mine up and I look at it compared to other people's and I'm just like Sharon are you kidding so what I did is I started instead of just saying it was a photo and telling what it was I, I say it's part of a photo essay which it is all my photos that are published are part of photo essays at Behance and really that's what I think I am I think I'm a um, like a book illustrator or like a comic book writer or something. That's what I've always thought I was. I can't just show you a picture without telling you the story. It doesn't work for me at all. And when I see other pictures from other people and there's no explanation, I have I get upset. I can't figure out why. I don't know what I need to know. So, yeah. So that's what I do. I take pictures of um, something that happens and then I illustrate it into a story. That's the way I'm putting it on Behance. And my choice has been not to go for like the quality and the technical side of the photography, which I easily could do. I could become a little nerd on all that crap if I wanted to. And I'm not, I'm purposely not, because I feel like that would just be such a waste. I want to get out my story and I want to get out what I have to say. And I think that any time that I spend sitting and muttering about my technical weakness it doesn't help because let's say that I'm you know 60 percent good right now and I work hard and I become 70 percent good well how much does that help me with book sales how much does that help me get my message out how much does a little bit of technical improvement make my message better and I'm gonna say it's not because the standard thing that keeps me going is the fact that my doctors don't believe I did this by myself. They sat there and watched it happen for two or th four years that it took me to lose the weight. And they still, two years later, are waiting for me to gain my weight back and everything to fall apart because, as they say, this is just not possible. How can anyone lose weight the way you did? You didn't even, whatever. But I did it and I need to get my message out. And I'm calling myself an artist because it's the only way I can do it. I'm a writer, I'm a photographer, and I make videos. And my son's way more talented than me. Most people are more talented than me. But most people just sit at home and don't do it. So I'm doing it. That's how come I'm an artist. Me and Pizarro. Go read my Pizarro post. I hope you will.